Hello everyone and welcome to Marco Builds episode 24 where um, we start today with me floating in the sky as you can see. Um, I just want to give you a small sneak preview on the, uh, the progress of the cyberpunk city. Uh, but that's not going to be the main feature for today. Uh, today we're going to return to the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, where I will feature the, uh, the mystical uh, uh, garden. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just want to give you guys a quick peek in what I've been doing here. Um, so let's go turn around. Uh, as you can see, I've started filling up this area uh, in front here. Put some buildings here, this is, yeah, like a, like a, a hotel and just some uh, living areas here. And over here, I build a, a smelter, the truck that is unloading the metal blocks that uh, are being smelted over here. I will feature this, uh, of course, uh, in a later episode. Uh, oh yeah, I made the entrance to Zescorp. Over here, so with the revolving doors and just the entrance. I put some shops there, put some tech on the wall. I will feature that all later. And also, um, the what I said uh, last time already, the story is developing. Um, as you guys can remember, uh, there is a zombie attack going on. Oop. Zombie attacks. So, uh, uh, obviously, the military is uh, responding to this, and um, yeah, they uh, come in full force. And uh, as you can see, the um, villagers have already started turning to zombies. So the uh, the military is reacting to that, trying to eradicate them. Uh, over here, a car crashed through the barrier. So there's some rubble downstairs. Oh yeah, this is also uh, uh, upgraded and expanded this uh, this uh, further as well. As you can see, there's now a tunnel leading to the mining district. Uh, that's a, now there's only one shop, but what I want to do is I want to fill this area with shops or small small businesses. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, over here. Yeah, some stuff as well. Uh, so just some some residential uh, buildings, uh, factory of sorts with a observation tower on it. Um, as you can see, well, plenty of. Uh, it, my computer is lagging a bit. Uh, I'm using so many uh, signs and, uh, and item frames uh, in, this, uh, in this build that uh, sometimes I go down to a uh, frame rate of uh, 14. So please bear with me. Uh, so just some... Uh, I like this shop. This is a mod shop or something. So... Uh, People can upgrade their bodies and make it into cyborg bodies. The Rita shop. Uh, as you can see, Rita has also turned into a uh, into a zombie. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's fly here. I've got more cars. Some sports cars. Taxi driving over here. The cyborg. A recharge uh, station. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then over here, of course, uh, the hotel is finished now. Uh, small shop over here. Uh, over here is going to be uh, uh, another build. It's going to be uh, also like a hotel, as you can see, the Gulf Resort Hotel. But that is still uh, a work in progress. Uh, yeah, you can see, we also have jets uh, flying over, preparing to uh, combat the, uh, the zombies. So we have that. Um, yeah, okay, if we dive down. 
like this. Go in between. We got uh, some some vendors here. We got the uh, a close uh, store where you can buy armor in all kind of variations. It's the R store. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, the stuff on the walls. So yeah, so that, that is a little bit of the of the progress um, we made on the Cyberpunk City. Um, so now let's uh, fly over to the uh, Hanging Gardens and start the feature of today. And we have arrived at the Mystical Gardens. Where we're going to start off by a small fly around uh, just to feature the gardens and uh, then I will do a walk around over here and explain some things that are going on and uh, yeah, what I was thinking when I was building this. So um, let's start with a fly around. So let's walk through these gardens. Um, first of all, over here uh, we start out with the uh, with the portal. Um, this uh, portal uh, can be activated by using this book. Uh, over here it has all story uh, that how to activate it. And then when you flip the page, the portal is on. And then when you flip the page back, it's off again. And uh, how I do this, it's uh, pretty easy. Uh, on one side, I dispense water and on the other, flint and steel. Um, of course, there's a bunch of redstone uh, uh, below here, and it uses the uh, the signal strength of the of the book uh, over here below the moss carpet. You can still see the comparator, and um, yeah, basically what it does it uh, it uh, uh, compares the signal strength and then activates either one of these uh, uh, dispensers. 
Hello, villager. Are you going through the portal? Oh, he's flipping the page. He's flipping the page. No, he was scared. Um, so yeah, for the rest, of course, um, we have these um, uh, these the, well, the, the the plant areas with the well, I would say the more uh, uncommon type of plants. Uh, we got some netherwort. We got some uh, wither roses. Uh, some other uh, mushrooms and, and, and other stuff growing in between. It's not really your average garden, um, but yeah, uh, probably uh, the, 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 how do you call it? The villagers uh, uh, cultivating these uh, will use this in their, uh, in their potion brewing, which is back here. Uh, over here, there's the uh, enchantment station with also a potion brewing uh, stand. Um, and yeah, actually, when we jump in there, uh, let's uh, quickly go to this mode. That's easier to see. Uh, uh, what I what I did here is um, uh, I always like to use um, uh, the wood structure uh, to give the, a really natural uh, feeling uh, mm. what you would expect if you would walk into a, uh, a building uh, made out of wood. Uh, you got the beams uh, to support the roof. Uh, you got the uh, uh, the beams to support the floor. And actually, what I did here, I used uh, campfires, uh, extinguished campfires. Uh, because they give a really nice uh, wooden beam structure uh, if you do a floor. Uh, obviously, if you fly up over here, you also got this beam structure. And so uh, I really uh, like using this, uh, this block. The only thing that's always unfortunate is that if you place something on top, it will actually be on this level. Uh, instead of being on the wood itself, uh, because it is uh, in fact a half slab. Um, uh, another nice feature is uh, working with chains, of course, in uh, one of those uh, medieval uh, or mystical type buildings. Uh, um, it gives it a little bit of a uh, sinister look, but then again, it fits in so well, and uh, yeah, I think it uh, it makes the the build uh, come together. Uh, is it logical to have your book all the way up there? No, not really. But then again, maybe it is a book that is either not used that much, or maybe it is one of the forbidden books that uh, that no one is uh, supposed to take out of the shelf anyway. Um, and then, of course, for the lighting, we have some candles and a skull. It is unfortunate that you cannot put any candles on top of a skull. That would be really awesome. That would be a nice feature, but yeah, uh, you can't because then it would be floating on top. It is possible, but doesn't look as nice as uh, the candle sitting right on the top of its head. Um, then I'm just gonna fly up a little bit. Um, fly around. As you can see, uh, all these uh, trees are also custom. It's not a standard tree. Um, I give a little bit of shape to it uh, by using these uh, stair blocks. In the same color as the uh, as the tree stem, of course. And by doing that, uh, what you can actually accomplish is that you get more organic looking trees than the standard uh, straight up tree that uh, Minecraft will generate. So that is a nice feature, of course. Yeah, you see it here as well. If you uh, twist and turn the the stem a little bit, yeah, it, it looks. A lot more organic and a lot more realistic than the the, the, the straight up and down uh, tree, just like that. Um, then, of course, yeah, the building type itself. I uh, I used some of the uh, of the overhangs on the um, on the how do you call it uh, on the, on the roof. Um, uh, edges, so to say, and it gives it a little bit of a, um, I would almost say a, a, a Viking type feel, but yeah, also that, uh, uh, of course, in the Middle Ages, it was pretty common to have uh, stuff like this hanging on the, uh, on the edges of the, 
of the roof. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think it is a nice, uh, nice feature. And um, uh, yeah, let me know what you uh, what do you think of this build. Um, if you like it, uh, leave a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, so that you make sure that you don't miss out on any uh, uh, other features that will be coming. And I will see you guys next time.